Okay, so we're gonna go through the software of the Asus DG. You click down here if you got Windows 7, and you double click on this icon. It says Sonar DG Audio Center. And this one then pops up straight away without any trouble. Let me just remove this box right here before I. Uh, what the? There we go. Okay, and um, the controls, or the main controls, you got the, like, you can. Uh, click the X to remove it here and all that stuff. Uh, but you get the main controls of this panel down here. Uh, so the first one is the main, uh, and here you can uh, adjust how many channels you want to use for the audio. Uh, that's pretty neat. And the sample rate, uh, I won't feel much with that. It's set to 96, and that's okay. That's fine. Um, and the speakers out. I got, uh, only got two speakers, so I set that of course but you got headphones here and four speakers if you want that or the 5-1 setting um, but the 5-1 setting if you got five speakers and one subwoofer but you can still get, uh, get a bass out of two speaker settings so that's no that's no problem uh, next is the mixer uh, that's pretty basic stuff so I won't go through it a lot but you got the, your playback here and record here and that sets up, uh, you can see the set settings for the uh, record uh, down here. It's various channels. And you can have the reset button here if you did a mistake or something. Uh, you got an effect button, uh, which adds an effect to your audio. Uh, I don't know why anybody would want to do that, uh, since... Uh, oh, well, I don't know. Uh, but uh, you got different like uh, effect settings for echo and stuff if you want to like use that. Uh, more useful is the equalizer. Here you got uh, more bass if you want that. Treble. Uh, that's more higher frequencies of course, and uh, different settings for different genres of music. But I just set to a default button. Uh, you also got a karaoke setting. Uh, well. That's for karaoke, if you want to have a karaoke party and go nuts, you click on that and then it will lower the vocals of all music and you can add your own. Uh, I haven't tested it, but uh, it looks okay. Um, I'll just click that off so I don't fuck up my whole setting. Okay, and bass, um, that's for um, adjusting your bass and when the bass hits and stuff. Uh, you can click that, and it will. You can lower or higher frequency of when your bass will like. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is a pretty neat effect. Uh, I haven't used it because I don't need it. But I had a microphone before, which produced a lot of echo uh, when I like played online with friends and stuff. And then you can click on this if you got that problem, and it will lower. Uh, okay, don't remind me again. What the hell? And we'll lower the echo. It will cancel out the echo effect uh, that the speaker or microphone produces. But I don't got that problem, so uh, I don't use it much. But it's a neat feature, uh, which is um, nice to know about. And you got additional vocal effects here for 3D games and for other stuff if you uh, need that. And of course, we got the general sound adjust here and you got a mute button here so that's pretty neat and the SVN for some additional effects to your sound if you need it so there we go um, that's the software so um, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon okay bye bye